Chapter 1 Car Accident You are listening at NovelFull.audio The most legendary person in the entertainment industry was definitely Lu Zhen. Lu Zhen entered the entertainment industry at the age of seven because of an advertisement. At the age of eight, she played the role of a younger sister in a comedy and became famous. When she was 17, she ventured into the movie industry after starring in the film Ancient. The next year, Lu Zhen played the role of the actress Yu Qin in Beauty. She was loved by everyone and won the Best Actress Award. At the age of 20, in the movie Qing He Bei, Lu Zhen played two roles. With her superb acting skills, she won the Golden Film Awards and Golden Horse Awards at the same time. That same year, the price was broadcasted overseas, and her fame rose. Winning the Best Actress Award at the Paris International Film Festival further advanced her acting career. After she became an international movie queen, someone sorted out the awards she had won and concluded that she had won almost all of them. In just 13 years, she had filmed various advertisements, variety shows, movies, and television dramas. Without exception, any program that had her would become popular. Countless high-end brands looked for her to endorse their products, and famous directors both domestically and internationally extended offers, hoping that she would star in their works. At that time, no one could compete with her. After she turned 20, her life changed forever. In the first half of the year, she was like a pearl that everyone cherished and looked up to. In the second half of the year, she became infamous and despised by everyone. At the rap party of a television drama, she was injected with a lot of drugs. The drug was low quality. Once she got addicted, it wasn't easy to quit. Because of the effects of drugs, she developed a bad temper. Once her drug addiction acted up, she would feel as if countless bugs were scratching her heart. She ignored the fact that she was filming and ran to the bathroom to take drugs. She knew that she had gone off the deep end, but she didn't dare to quit drugs, nor did she want to give up her current life. Gradually, all kinds of scandals were exposed. Rumor had it that she was stuck up, found substitutes to act out her scenes, bullied newbies, was an alcoholic that was guilty of drunk. Driving often, and got her roles through casting couch. There were even rumors that she gambled, evaded taxes, and took drugs. At first, there were still a large number of fans looking for evidence to clear her name. No one believed that the girl they had watched grow up would do such a thing. But as more and more scandals appeared, they also became suspicious. What convicted her was a piece of news that topped the trending searches that day. Lu Zhen was detained for 14 days for drug use. All her crimes seemed irrefutable. The pain of the two cars colliding instantly spread throughout Lu Zhen's body. Lu Zhen was in so much pain that her consciousness became blurry. At that moment, time slowed down. Memories of the past surfaced in her mind. Lu Zhen smiled mockingly. Tears mixed with blood slid down her face, as if they were tears of blood. Her body was pressed under the car, and her blurry vision was fixed on the LED screen that occupied an entire wall of the office building. On it was, there was a photo of a man. It was a middle-aged man. He was handsome and had a calm temperament. Despite his age, there was an unparalleled charm to him. Just looking at the photo made one unable to look away. On careful look, the man's face actually resembled Lu Zhen's. Lu Zhen's heart started to ache when she saw the man. Suddenly, a pair of high heels stopped in front of her and the woman slowly squatted down. Lu Zhen, you actually wanted to run me over with your car. He. Only you would think of something so stupid. Hearing the familiar voice, Lu Zhen gritted her teeth and said. Lu Ro. Lu Zhen's blood flowed out her mouth with every word, as if she was crying tears of blood. Her sister, who she had once doted on, was also the person who had set her up. Lu Zhen looked at the person in the black and white photo on the LED screen and felt a sense of sorrow. Dot, Dad, we're really father and daughter. We both got set up by the same person. Lu Zhen, this time, your father is also dead. 
I finally don't have to worry about my identity being exposed. The two of you can reunite underground. You can also acknowledge your relatives, ha ha ha. Lu Ro's laughter was like a sharp sword stabbing into Lu Jin's chest and causing her to bleed. Lu Ro, you will suffer retribution. I will watch as you suffer retribution one day. Lu Jin spoke intermittently and blood kept gushing out of her mouth. She watched helplessly as Lu Ro walked away with a victorious smile. She was indignant. She regretted it. If she had called the police after realizing that she had been injected with drugs, would those slanderous comments have appeared? If she had corrected her father in time when she found out that he had mistaken Lu Ro for her, would her father be alive now? If only. She had too many regrets in her life. If only she could start over. Soon, the news of Lu Ro's death was on the news again. There were a few regretful comments on the internet, but they were covered by curses and celebrations. On the day of the burial, because Lu Ro had no family and had a bad reputation, not many people came to pay their respects. Among the less than ten people, a slender and elegant man placed a bouquet of white lilies in front of the tombstone. Sorry, I came too late. Sister, I'm sorry. I didn't take good care of you. Wake up. Before Lu Jin woke up, she heard a wail. This voice, belonged to Lu Ro. Chapter 2 Rebirth You are listening at NovelFull.audio This woman was really persistent. The voice she heard before she died was her, and the voice she heard after she died was still her. Wait, wasn't she dead? How could she hear voices? Lu Jin resisted the urge to jump up and slap Lu Ro as she sorted out the memories in her mind. Boo hoo, sister, wake up. Why were you so careless as to walk by the water so late at night? At night. By the water. With the key hint, Lu Jin suddenly recalled the first period drama she filmed when she was 18 years old. In it, she stared as the female lead, a female general with extremely high martial arts skills guarding the border. Because of her, Lu Ro got a role that didn't have many scenes but admired the male lead and had scenes with him. It was a scene by the river. After the filming ended and the production team was about to wrap up, Lu Ro accidentally knocked her into the river. Due to the rapid current, she was washed away as soon as she fell into the water. Fortunately, there were staff members who noticed her and shouted the moment she fell into the water, so she was rescued. Of course, she had learned this from her assistant later on. She was already unconscious at that time. Everyone who was familiar with her knew that she was afraid of water. Every time she knew that there would be a water scene the next day, she would prepare in advance. But this time, the director said that although it was by the river, it was for background purposes, and she wouldn't have to enter the water. She didn't take any precautions. Lu Ro must have known and chose to take action today. After Lu Jin sorted out her memories, a word suddenly popped up in Lu Jin's mind. Rebirth. Lu Jin suddenly opened her eyes. The pure white roof came into view. She reached out tentatively and raised her arm to cover her eyes. She had actually been reborn. Tears fell from the corners of Lu Jin's eyes. She was alive. She had been reborn to the period before she encountered those scandals. Sister, you're awake. Lu Ro's tone was filled with surprise, as if she was really happy that her sister had woken up. Dot Lu Jin looked at Lu Ro's face and smiled mockingly. She was really stupid to have helped her. To think that she had acted for so many years. Why couldn't she see the scheming look in Lu Ro's eyes back then? Perhaps it wasn't that she couldn't see it, but that she didn't want to see it. Lu Ro was stunned by her mocking and fierce gaze, and her heart beat wildly. Sister, why are you looking at me like that? Lu Jin lowered her eyes and didn't answer. This time, she wouldn't give Lu Ro the chance to establish the image of a kind and innocent girl. Because of Lu Jin's identity, as soon as she pressed the pager, a doctor and a nurse came to the ward within a few minutes. 
Other people in the hospital who liked Lu Jun also stood at the door of the ward and looked in. Miss Lu, how do you feel now? The doctor in the white coat asked gently. Lu Jun lowered her head and remained silent, as if she was disoriented. Seeing that Lu Jun didn't answer, the doctor repeated his previous question in confusion. Everyone in the ward was wondering what was wrong with Lu Jun. Only Lu Jun knew that she was waiting for someone. There was a knock on the door and several nurses pushed it open. Dr. Wang, I've brought the tranquilizer. A tranquilizer? What tranquilizer? The doctor was puzzled. He had not said that he wanted a tranquilizer. At this moment, Lu Zhen's lowered eyes flashed. Lu Ro, why do you hate me? His words were shocking. Although her voice wasn't loud, the people in the ward heard her clearly. Lu Jin raised her face and a tear slid from the corner of her eye to her chin. There was once a director who said that Lu Jin's beauty was unique. Everyone who acted with her needed great courage. If they were not careful, they would get carried away, especially when she cried. Sister. What are you talking about? Lu Ro was shocked. Why would Lu Jin say such a thing? Lu Ro subconsciously glanced at the people around the bed. Their frowns and suspicious expressions shocked her. Lu Ro, you. Lu Jin enunciated each word, as if what she wanted to say was difficult to say, but in the end, she still completed the entire sentence. Why did you want to suffocate me with a handkerchief? Lu Jin's words were filled with doubt, grievance, and fear. There was no evidence, but her expression and the tears that kept rolling down her face seemed to be enough to condemn Lu Ro. The door of the ward wasn't closed tightly. Lu Jin's words were shocked everyone present. What did Jin Jin say? Lu Ro wanted to suffocate her with a handkerchief. The noise outside the door made Lu Ro break out in cold sweat. She lowered her head so that no one could see her panic. A few seconds later, Lu Ro sobbed. Sister, what are you talking about? I don't understand. You can't fabricate charges just because you don't like me. Lu Ro looked up with a pitiful expression. Lu Jin looked at her and felt a sense of mockery. Wasn't she deceived by Lu Ro's pitiful expression in her previous life? She had used this expression to beg her to take the blame for her in school. She had taken a fancy to her pursuer and used this expression to beg her to introduce him to her. After being acknowledged by her father, she had begged her not to expose her. At that time, she had already taken drugs and didn't dare to let her father know that his real daughter was like this, so she tacitly agreed to Lu Ro's actions and eventually caused her father to die tragically. Chapter 3 Can't say everything you are listening at novel full audio. Chapter 3 Can't say everything, Lu Ro, I'm really saddened. Why do you want me dead? Not only did you push me into the water, but you also wanted to suffocate me. Lu Ro's voice wasn't loud. Her expression only changed slightly and her eyes were compelling. It was difficult not to believe her. I didn't. Sister, what's wrong with you? Why do you want to frame me? Lu Ro shouted. For the first time, she felt the pressure Lu Jin gave her. The doctors and nurses around them didn't dare to speak. As rescuers, they had to be responsible for what they said. Therefore, even if they trusted Lu Jin, they didn't dare to intervene in the family's conflict. However, the crowd standing outside the door didn't care. They started discussing. Wow! Lu Ro is actually so vicious. I couldn't even tell. Previously, I saw that the sisters seemed very close in the bloopers, but Lu Ro actually wanted to harm Lu Zhen. That's right. To think that Lu Ro has such an innocent dot looking face. The discussion outside the door entered Lu Ro's ears, and her expression became distorted for a moment. The persona she had built for so long was actually destroyed by Lu Zhen with just a few words. Sister, how can you falsely accuse me like this? After you fell into the water, I jumped into the water to look for you. Even if you fainted and didn't see me, you can't accuse me like this. 
Lu Ro blinked her eyes and cried as she competed with Lu Zhen in acting skills. Lu Zhen only wanted to laugh. Did Lu Ro think that she won all those Best Actress awards for nothing? When neither side could produce actual evidence, there were naturally more people who were biased towards her. What false accusation? I saw you trying to kill Sister Zhenzhen. Suddenly, a voice came from outside the door. Lu Zhen raised her eyebrows. Her cute little assistant had come at the right time. Some words would only seem sincere if others said them for her. She only needed to say a portion and leave room for imagination. Lu Ro, I saw with my own eyes that you wanted to kill Sister Zhenzhen. Last night, I came to see Sister Zhenzhen and saw you holding a handkerchief and pressing it on Sister Zhenzhen's face. I even quarreled with you. Lu Ro, you can pretend to have lost your memory, but I can't. You said that you wanted to walk by the river with Sister Zhenzhen, so Sister Zhenzhen accompanied you to the river at night. Then, Sister Zhenzhen fell into the water. Lu Zhen wanted to laugh when she saw the assistant's angry look, but she couldn't. She had to maintain her pitiful image as a victim. She could only look at the assistant with tears in her eyes. The little assistant was overwhelmed by her goddess tears and went all out against Lu Ro. You heartless fellow, have you forgotten that Jinjin asked for an audition for you? Why are you so ruthless to Jinjin? I didn't. Last night, I was just wiping my sister's face. You're lying. You're framing me. You don't have any evidence. Sister, why are you slandering me with your assistant? All these years, our relationship has been good. Why would I do those things? Lu Ro cried miserably and shouted at the top of her lungs. She was already speechless and had no choice but to retort Lu Zhen. Lu Zhen looked at Lu Ro with disappointment in her eyes and her tears fell. However, when she turned around, she happened to see the onlookers outside the door and they saw her sad expression. When she met their gazes, she froze and instantly lowered her head. Her slightly curly long hair covered her face, preventing them from seeing her sorry state. Why? Lu Ro, you're so thick dot skinned. You're jealous that Sister Zhenzhen can play the lead role and is liked by everyone. You just have a small supporting role, and Sister Zhenzhen recommended you for that supporting role. That's why. The assistant's words made Lu Ro's face turn pale. She could only look at Lu Zhen pitifully. Wasn't Lu Zhen very protective of her previously? She even told her that they had to take care of each other in the entertainment industry. Why was she letting her assistant scold her now? Assistant Sunday. As Zhenzhen's assistant, is this how you treat her sister? A stern and angry voice sounded at the door of the ward. Lu Zhen's gaze darkened. Lu Ro's behavior was just child's play. The real problem was this. Assistant son, you're Zhenzhen's employee. It's understandable for you to speak up for Zhenzhen, but you have to know that the person you're reprimanding now is Zhenzhen's younger sister. If there's evidence, I'll definitely punish Lu Ro severely, but if there's no evidence, you're spreading rumors and slandering her. Think about the legal responsibility you'll have to bear before you speak. Chapter 4 Distorting the Truth You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Sun Zhao's face turned pale. She indeed did not have any evidence. If she really pursued the matter. A cold look flashed across Lu Zhen's eyes. As expected of someone who used to be in the entertainment industry. She wanted to distort the truth with just a few words. Who gave Wu Yu the confidence to attack her people? Mom, the first thing you expressed concern about when you come to the ward is not me, who almost died, but Ro Ro's reputation. Lu Zhen said weakly and changed the topic. When life and reputation were compared, it was up to oneself to decide which was more important. No, Zhen Zhen, how can mommy not care about you? I only asked about it first since I heard someone slandering your sister. Mommy, I said it. Before I woke up, I felt that someone wanted to suffocate me. When I heard Sun Xiao and Xiao arguing, I knew that that person was Xiao. 
Lu Zhen stared straight at Wu Yu and sneered. Wu Yu had always liked to put on an act. She would see how she would deal with it now. She knew that she could not kill Lu Ro this time, but it was good to let her feel the pain of being slandered. Wu Yu was shocked by Lu Zhen's cold gaze. She suppressed her palpitations and said, Jinjin, there must be a misunderstanding. Mom, I just wanted to wipe my sister's face. How could sister misunderstand me? Sister actually said that I wanted to kill her. I'm so close to her. Why would I want to kill her? That's right. Jinjin, you've always been on good terms with Xiaoru. How could she treat you like this? This mother-daughter pair echoed each other, making some people who were not Lu Zhen's fans confused. So, mom, do you trust Lu Ro more? Following the mother and daughter's words, Lu Zhen's expression turned pale, and her eyes were filled with undisguised despair. Wu Yu's sharp eyes caught a glimpse of someone secretly taking photos at a close distance. She instantly sobered up and was led by the nose by Lu Zhen. Jinjin, I can't determine the truth without evidence, but since you're so sure, I'll believe you. With that, Wu Yu stood up and walked in front of Lu Ro. She raised her hand and slapped Lu Ro. The loud slap shocked everyone in the ward. Lu Ro, do you know your mistake? Mom. You can't listen to my sister's one-dot-sided words. I really just wanted to wipe my sister's face. Why must you side with her when there's no evidence? Do you have to make me die to prove my innocence? Lu Ro cried and shouted at the door. Without giving everyone a chance to react, she slammed into the wall. Ah! Wu Yu screamed and ran to hug Lu Ro. Everyone instantly came back to their senses and panicked. When Lu Jin saw this, she held her chest and panted desperately. Sun Xiao had been paying attention to Lu Zhen. Seeing this, she quickly shouted, Sister Zhen Zhen, what's wrong? Lu Zhen fell into Sun Zhao's arms and muttered, You were the one who wanted to kill me, but you're trying to force me to die. Before Lu Zhen fainted, tears fell from the corners of her eyes. It was heartbreaking to see. Of course, Lu Zhen was pretending to faint. She could feel the doctor treating her and hear Sun Zhao's screams. Can you say that Lu Ro is innocent just because she hit the wall? Then does that mean that every death row prisoner can prove that he didn't kill anyone as long as he hit the wall? I saw with my own eyes that Lu Ro wanted to suffocate Jin Jin. Don't think that Lu Ro can distort the truth just because she hit the wall. I will find evidence. Just you wait. Sun Zhao's cries were right beside Lu Jin's ear, making her heart ache. She had only helped Sun Xiao, who was wandering the streets, on the spur of the moment, but Sun Xiao had spent a few years repaying her. In her previous life, Sun Xiao had told her that Lu Ro had covered her towel. At that time, she had reprimanded Sun Xiao and said that it was impossible. After that, Sun Xiao had repeatedly told her to be careful of Lu Ro, but she did not listen. She even had a feud with Sun Xiao. Back then, she was really stupid. Wu Yu naturally knew that she had to retort Sun Xiao, but Lu Ro's condition made her dare not to stay. She could only follow the doctor out. Chapter 5 The dispute begins you are listening at novel full dot audio. The ward was in chaos. After a few rounds of resuscitation, Lu Zhen opened her eyes. Dot when the doctor saw that Lu Zhen had woken up, he quickly asked, Miss Lu, how do you feel now? Lu Jin shook her head at the doctor. I'm fine. I was just angry. As she spoke, Lu Jin's tears also flowed down. She glanced around and saw that the door had already closed. The paparazzi who had secretly taken photos was no longer around. Her gaze finally landed on Sun Xiao and she said softly, should I not have said anything? I didn't expect it to turn out like this. Her eyelashes were lowered, casting a shadow under her eyes. Lu Zhen looked extremely fragile, and sorrow filled the entire ward. However, before Sun Xiao could speak, a nurse said loudly, Jin Jin, you did the right thing. Why should you help her hide her evil deeds? 
I saw it just now. When she hit the wall, she deliberately restrained her strength. Pfft, shameless. She cried, threw a tantrum, and tried to threaten suicide. Did she watch too many television dramas? After hearing the nurse's words, the others also chuckled. Even the usually serious doctor had amusement in his eyes. Miss Liu, rest well. If possible, I suggest you undergo systematic desensitization therapy in the psychological department. Lu Jin knew that the doctor was talking about her fear of water and nodded. After the doctors and nurses left, Sun Xiao held Lu Jin's hand with reddened eyes. Sister Jin Jin, cut ties with that family. That family isn't good. Lu Jin sat up and sighed softly. She raised her hand to wipe away the tears at the corner of Sun Zhao's eyes. I know they're not good people, but they still raised me. Unless there's an opportunity for me to leave the Lu family, if I say it, no matter what reason I have, it'll be used as an excuse to attack me and ruin my reputation. Can't you leave this time? Sun Xiao asked in confusion. Lu Jin shook her head. There's no evidence. I think there will probably be two opposing opinions online about this matter. One side will defend me unconditionally, while the others who see Lu Ro banging her head against the wall will think that I'm making a mountain out of a molehill. Actually, if not for the fact that she was in the entertainment industry, Lu Jin wouldn't waste time with Wu Yu and Lu Ro. However, in this industry, if she didn't say it, she would be slandered. Therefore, she had to say something. Sun Xiao said angrily, Humph. They don't know anything, but think that you're making a mountain out of a molehill. They don't know your hardships. Lu Jin rubbed Sun Zhao's head and gave her a hug. Thank you, Sun Xiao. Lu Jin was really grateful not only for this matter, but also for seeing Sun Xiao again. Only then did Lu Jin realize that she owed a lot of people. Sun Zhao's face turned red from Lu Jin's hug. When Lu Jin let go, she quickly said, Sister Jin Jin, I'll go tell Sister Li about your situation. Rest first. I'll settle the matter and bring you your favorite dishes from the restaurant tonight. Okay. Lu Jin nodded with a smile and watched Sun Xiao leave. Sun Zhao's face was still red even after she closed the door. Why did she feel that Jin Jin was so gentle today? Previously, she was always cold and indifferent. Although she liked the aloof sister Zhen, she wasn't as mesmerizing as the gentle sister Zhen. Patting her flushed face, Sun Xiao took a deep breath. She was shocked by sister Zhen's beauty. It was like a fairy who descended to the mortal world kissed your face and held your hand while saying that they should be friends. This feeling could make her feel smug for the entire day. Lu Jin really didn't expect her that her actions would shock Sun Xiao so much. She recalled everything she had done at the Lu family's house. She was adopted by the Lu family at the orphanage when she was five years old. Wu Yu took a fancy to her appearance and brought her home to nurture her. Many people online said that she was lucky to have been discovered by a talent scout when she was seven years old and had a smooth journey. But was that really the case? There was a saying that all coincidences were carefully contrived. During the two years of training, she would go hungry if she didn't do well. Her every move and even her smile were calculated. How could she not be discovered by the scouts? Her adoptive father frantically accepted notices for her. He didn't care that she was still a child and didn't care about her health. When she was sick, she would take a lot of medicine, so much so that she didn't even dare to be sick because she felt that they didn't care about her life. At such a young age, she had already learned how to observe people's expressions. Her voice, figure, and expression were trained. She also took time to learn during the break in the show. The Lu family said that if she was illiterate, she would embarrass the Lu family. Chapter 6 Money Tree You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Countless times, she had watched Lu Ro wheedle to her parents. Countless times, she was the only one left at home when their family went on a holiday. Countless times, when she raised her thoughts, she was ordered to stand by the wall, 
then Mr. Lu whipped her legs. Lu Zhen's heart ached. She didn't want to recall the past. Fortunately, she had survived it now and had been reborn. Taking a deep breath, Lu Zhen put on her shoes and walked out. He felt a little depressed staying in the room. When she left the ward, Lu Zhen met a nurse. She was one of the nurses in her ward just now. As she was in the entertainment industry, remembering people was also one of Lu Zhen's skills. Lu Zhen smiled and greeted the nurse. The nurse was a little flattered and quickly said, Sister Zhenzhen, why are you out of bed? You should rest well now. I'll go see Lu Ro. Lu Zhen's eyes darkened as she continued, after all, she's my sister. The nurse's heart ached for Lu Zhen. At the same time, she quickly comforted her, Zhenzhen, your sister is fine. I followed her just now to take a look. She just hit her head. Her skin isn't even lacerated. She was just being unreasonable and specifically asked the doctor to wrap her head, as if it was very serious. I'd better go take a look. Can you lead the way? Yes. Okay, Dot Lu Zhen followed the nurse to the door and heard the conversation inside. The conversation wasn't loud, but because the door wasn't closed, the sound reached their ears clearly. Lu Ro, why do you have to harm Lu Zhen? She can earn money for us now. Why do you always go against her? This was Wu Yu's voice. I just can't stand how cocky she is. What does she have? Why should the production team praise her? I should have all the glory. She just has good looks. She's an airhead. Lu Ro. Are you done? If you kill her, who will earn money for us? If you want to her to die, we have tons of ways to make her disappear after she is no longer popular. You don't even have to do it yourself. Do you have a brain? Lu Zhen raised her eyebrows. She didn't expect Lu He, her nominal father, to come too. In the past few years, Lu He had built a small company with the money she had earned and was extremely busy every day. It was really the difference between a biological daughter and a money tree. She had been hospitalized for a week, but Lu He had never come to see her. Hubby, don't scold Lu Ro. Lu Ro was set up by Lu Zhen this time. Lu Zhen narrowed his eyes and guessed what Wu Yu was going to say. She leaned against the wall beside her to attract the nurse's attention. Sister Zhenzhen, how are you? Let me help you back. Yes. Lu Zhen nodded with a pale face. Sister Zhenzhen, is your family always like this? The nurse seemed to be afraid of hurting Lu Zhen again and spoke carefully. Lu Zhen revealed a bleak smile and said softly, I didn't expect it either. Sister Zhenzhen, don't be sad. When they were about to reach the ward, Lu Zhen sighed. Thank you. I want to take a walk. Go to work. Sister Zhenzhen, why don't I accompany you? The nurse looked at Lu Zhen worriedly. Lu Zhen gave the nurse a comforting smile and said, Thank you, but no. I want to be alone. The hospital she was in was a private hospital that occupied a large area. The environment was quiet and suitable for recuperation. It was said that it was a hospital that belonged to a rich man. Because of its top medical equipment and high price, most of the people who could be hospitalized here were either rich or noble. Lu Zhen took a walk in the garden. The fresh air and clear sky made Lu Zhen's gloom disappear a little. Those experiences in her previous life left a deep impression on her. Perhaps she would only be able to truly relax after taking revenge. The flowers and plants in the garden made Lu Zhen realize how generous this hospital was again. Many of them were expensive flowers sent from overseas. Just as she was lamenting that she hadn't lived such a luxurious life in a long time, a figure attracted her attention. It was a person who was trying to stand up with a walking stick from a wheelchair. The man only had one leg and his head was lowered. She couldn't see his face clearly. Once, twice, three times. Every time he got up, he got up higher than he did the last time. On the fourth time, when he was about to stand up, 
his walking stick suddenly slipped and got stuck in the wheelchair. He fell down with the wheelchair. Chapter 7 Rich Man You are listening at NovelFull.audio Lu Zhen quickly ran over and squatted down to help the man up. The man didn't expect anyone to come. He looked at Lu Zhen with a sinister expression. Even though Lu Zhen was experienced and had seen a lot of terrifying makeup, she was still shocked by the ugly scar on the man's forehead. Coupled with the man's fierce expression, Lu Zhen's heart thumped and she almost let go. However, at the last second, she still restrained her hand. How are you? Did you hurt yourself? Lu Zhen asked. The man stared at her without saying anything. His sharp gaze made Lu Zhen feel uncomfortable. If there's nothing else, I'll prop the wheelchair up first. Wait for me for a moment. Without giving the man a chance to answer, Lu Zhen quickly helped the wheelchair up and pulled out the walking stick stuck in the wheel before helping him up. She placed the man's arm on her shoulder and used her strength, but he didn't get up. She used her strength again, but he still didn't get up. Lu Zhen's face flushed. She regretted it now. Why did she have to show off? She should have just found someone. It was unknown if Lu Zhen's expression had amused the man, but the man's chest gradually shook. His laughter made Lu Zhen feel even more discouraged. Just as Lu Zhen was about to give up, the weight on her shoulder suddenly lightened. The man's body was helped up, and she, who was holding the man's arm tightly, was also lifted up. Go hold the wheelchair. The voice that gave the order was gentle and soothing, like a flute playing on a spring night, making people want to listen to it some more. Lu Zhen pushed the wheelchair in a daze. It wasn't until the man with the scar on his face sat in the wheelchair that she saw the person's appearance. She had never seen such an elegant and handsome man before. The man wasn't annoyed by Lu Zhen's stare. He smiled and Lu Zhen's heart fluttered. You, stop laughing. I'm afraid I won't be able to control myself. Lu Zhen covered her nose as she spoke. This man was simply her type. She had seen many handsome men in the entertainment industry, but none of them could make her heart flutter so much. Have the two of you forgotten that there's someone else? BVE see the sudden sound interrupted their stare. Only then did Lu Zhen remember why she had run over just now. She quickly asked the man in the wheelchair again. Are you okay? Do you want to go to the doctor? No need. The man sounded helpless. Do you know who I am? Lu Zhen was surprised. In this day and age, she had to know who the person was to help someone up. However, it was impolite for her not to reply to his question, so she could only answer honestly, I don't know. The man raised his eyebrows and glanced at the good dot looking man before turning to Lu Zhen and saying, My name is Lin Feng. Oh. Lu Zhen replied. She sensed that something was wrong. Lin Feng. Disfigured and had broken his legs. Appeared in a private hospital. Lu Zhen suddenly thought of the rumored richest man in the country. She had heard that he was ruthless and temperamental. What kind of luck did she have? She met the richest man while strolling in the garden. If it were anyone else, they might feel lucky, but Lu Zhen had learned to observe people since she was young. When she thought about why there was no one here to push or take care of the richest man, she instantly understood that he didn't want anyone to see him in a sorry state. Although she couldn't think of a way for him to get up, he was the richest man. He would definitely have a way. Lu Zhen's face was filled with melancholy. She stole a glance at the handsome man and said gloomily, You have someone to take care of you, so I'll leave first. Wait, you helped me. Don't you want anything in return? The man's question was direct. He knew that the people in the entertainment industry had always done everything they could to fight for benefits. Lu Zhen's face was difficult to forget, so he recognized her. Lu Zhen's lips twitched. She just wanted to run away now. How could she ask for something? But then, she rolled her eyes and said, I have something I want. If you give it to me, we'll be even. 
In the future, I'll pretend we never met. Of course, what she meant was, I'll pretend that I didn't help you. Don't think that I have other motives. Tell me. What do you want? Chapter 8 His photo you are listening at novelfull.audio Give me a photo of him. Lusion pointed at the man beside him. Dot the man was stunned and didn't react to what she was saying. The scarred man looked at Lu Zhen with probing eyes. You know him. I don't know him. I just think he's good. Looking. Lu Zhen didn't have any major problems, but she couldn't change her lecherous nature. However, after being in the entertainment industry for so many years, she had seen many handsome men and beautiful women. This was the first man who ever made her infatuated. Instantly, the two men fell silent and looked at her with expressions that Lu Zhen couldn't understand. If you can't, pretend I didn't say anything. Lu Zhen felt awkward under their gazes. The man with the scarred face laughed first. Just a photo. Don't you want him to leave his contact number? No. Lu Zhen shook her head like a rattle. As she spoke, she stole a glance at the man standing in the sunlight. What do you think, the scarred man asked the man in white. Sure, but only one. Don't spread it. The man in white lowered his eyes with a gentle expression. His every frown and smile made Lu Zhen's heart flutter. Could this be love at first sight? Although Lu Zhen was criticizing them, she subconsciously observed their actions. At first, she thought that the man in white was the scarred man's secretary but now, she felt that the two of them were more like friends. Seeing that the man had agreed, Lu Zhen didn't pester him. She took a photo and turned to leave. That's all. Yes. Lu Zhen turned around in confusion. Her slightly curly long hair drew a beautiful arc with her movements, and her brown eyes reflected the man's figure. The man in white seemed to want to say something, but he swallowed and emphasized his previous words. The photo cannot be leaked. Okay. Seeing Lu Zhen leave, the man in white was the first to speak. How was your checkup today? Not bad. The scarred man looked relaxed and no longer as gloomy as before. The man in white studied him for a few seconds and chuckled. She's quite useful for making you smile. She's quite different from the investigation described. I always thought that she was an acting addict who only knew how to act and nothing else. Now, it seems that she's quite observant and smart. Acting addict. You have a high opinion of her. You can get her to join Jia Lu. I remember you watching the television series she acted in in the past. You said that with her commercial value, she had the qualifications to be poached. The man in white looked gentle, but his words were cold. To him, Lu Zhen was just a commodity that could be bought and sold at will. The scarred man revealed a forthright smile. Lin Feng, the girl likes you so much, but in the end, you used business value to measure her. If she knew, she would be sad. The man in white, who was the real Lin Feng, smiled indifferently and said, There have been many people who have confessed to me since I was young. Do I have to care about all of them? How cold dot blooded. The scarred man sighed. You can poach her at any time. The price is up to you. As long as you're happy. Okay. Lu Zhen didn't care much about this episode. The reason she was so eager to help Lin Feng was because she had played a disabled person in a television drama. In order to make the performance realistic, she wanted to experience the life of a disabled person. When she was a normal person, she wouldn't understand that sort of despair and pain. It wasn't until she wrapped one of her legs and only relied on the wheelchair and crutches to move that she understood that sense of powerlessness. There were many inconveniences for disabled people. In today's society, they couldn't be resolved. They needed to bear it in order not to be a burden to others. Some people would even develop mental problems. Some would become antisocial, and others would become bipolar. Therefore, when she saw Lin Feng trying to get up, she didn't stop him. 
she only rushed up after Lin Fong fell. They needed support and care at the same time. In the end, that movie was very successful. Not only did it make many people pay more attention to people with disabilities, but it also spread the ways of caring for the disabled. She had starred in all sorts of television dramas, but started out from light comedy, and what made her establish herself in the acting industry was this television drama about disabled people. She saw her influence and her future potential as an actress. From then on, she set a goal for herself. In the future, she would show the audience her positive deeds through her performance, but in the end. When did she start to forget her original intentions? Today, she suddenly thought of what had happened before. Those things seemed very distant. Chapter 9 Paparazzi Demon Hunting Master You are listening at NovelFull.audio Not long after Lu Zhen returned to the ward, she fell asleep. She dreamed that the day she was injected with drugs. Like a wandering soul. She floated in midair and watched her every move as a spectator. She couldn't see the person who had injected her with drugs. Looking in the mirror, Lu Zhen saw her pale and dispirited face. In her dream, she saw not only her face but also the gorgeous jewelry on her body and the paranoia in her eyes. As a wandering soul, she couldn't believe it. The scene changed. In the dream, Lu Zhen's body trembled as she rushed out of the dressing room and ran to the washroom cubicle to take drugs. She didn't look gorgeous at all. Soon, curses filled the air. Dot, Lu Zhen. To think that I liked her so much back then. I was really blind. Drinking and gambling, evading taxes and taking drugs. She's not that old, but she's committed all kinds of sins. It's such a shame to like such a celebrity. This kind of person shouldn't be alive. Cold sweat broke out on Lu Zhen's forehead. She suddenly woke up and met Sun Zhao's worried gaze. For a moment, Lu Zhen couldn't tell if it was in a dream or reality. Sister Zhenzhen. Sister Zhenzhen, are you awake? Lu Zhen exhaled and nodded. Sun Zhao also heaved a sigh of relief. Sister Zhenzhen, I called you a few times just now, but you didn't respond. You were mumbling something with a forehead full of cold sweat. I almost called the doctor. I'm fine. Lu Zhen slept the entire afternoon. At this moment, night had already fallen. In the dark room, only the small night light in front of the ward bed was lit up. When Lu Zhen was completely awake and her eyes adapted to the light, Sun Xiao turned on the light and placed the porridge in front of Lu Zhen. Sister Zhenzhen, the news is out. Sun Xiao sounded very disappointed. Previously, she didn't believe Zhenzhen when she said that there would be two opposing opinions on the internet. Now, reality confirmed Zhenzhen's words. Lu Zhen was already prepared. There were many people present at that time. With her fame, it was hard to guarantee that no one would spread this matter. What the paparazzi had to do was to organize and spread the truth as soon as possible before it fermented. Lu Zhen took the phone. There was an unread message on the screen. Zhen Zhen, I'm back. It was signed by Jean Zhan. Lu Zhen sneered. She didn't have the time to deal with the scumbag who had been seduced by Lu Ro. She opened Weibo and a line of red words appeared. Shocking. Fake sisterhood in the entertainment industry. Lu Zhen and Lu Ro had a falling out. After the title, there was the word trending. There were photos of her lowering her head and crying, as well as photos of her staring at Lu Ro with sorrow. However, this paparazzo knew the rules of the entertainment industry very well. He knew that only when there was controversy would there be popularity. Therefore, Lu Ro wasn't the only one in the photo. Lu Ro's eyes were filled with grievance as she broke down and cried. She also pretended to knock herself unconscious by banging her head against the wall. The two photos of Lu Ro were not the main point. The main point was that he actually took a photo of Lu Ro's flustered expression. Lu Zhen pursed her lips and chuckled. 
she continued to post on her Weibo. The comments below were all comforting her and cursing the Liu family. This was also in line with the company's method of controlling the comments on celebrities' Weibo. If she wanted to see the netizens' real reaction, she had to go to the paparazzi's Weibo. This person's Weibo name was Demon Hunter Master, and his real name was Xin Yu. He would become a famous paparazzo in the entertainment industry two years later. Many actors and celebrities had fallen at his hands. Lu Jin knew that there would be paparazzi taking photos today. She had seen the news of her and Lu Ro's sisterly relationship in her previous life. The photo was taken in this ward. Could it be that the person photographing was Xin Yu? She opened this person's homepage and a more detailed photo of her and Lu Ro appeared. At Entertainment News Every Day. Do you dare to release all the audio? Everyone, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, there's a big scoop. Entertainment News Every Day. She knew about this Weibo account. It was a paparazzi who became famous earlier than Zheng Yu. Compared to Zheng Yu, who only reported evidence, Entertainment News Every Day had no morals whatsoever. As he often went against Zheng Yu's team, the two sides didn't like each other. Later on, Zheng Yu spent half a year digging up scandals about Entertainment News Every Day. After he dug up dirt on them, he was shocked. Not only did Entertainment News Every Day accept bribes to slander other artists, but they even fabricated the scandals. They caused an innocent girl to commit suicide. That period of time could be called an earthquake in the entertainment industry. It left a deep impression on Lu Zhen, who was too busy to listen to gossip. Of course, with Zheng Yu's revelations and concrete evidence, many people in the entertainment team were sent to the police station. Ah! Jin Jin, you saw Demon Hunter Master. It's all thanks to him. Otherwise, you would have been slandered. What? Lu Jin frowned in confusion. Chapter 10 Lu Jin's sleep photo you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 10 Lu Jin's sleep photo Sun Zhao's expression was solemn as her gaze wandered. She hesitated for a long time before she caved in under Lu Jin's gaze. Sister Jin Jin, Entertainment News Every Day posted malicious edited audio on the internet, causing many people to say that you. They said that you're heartless and jealous of your sister. You deliberately framed Lu Ro and even wanted to force her to death. There's something even worse. Sun Zhao's voice became softer and softer until it was almost inaudible. While Sun Zhao was speaking, Lu Zhen had already clicked on the homepage of Entertainment News Every Day. Like Xing Yu's post, it was on the top of Weibo. Lu Zhen casually read the comments and sneered. In her previous life, other than the few greedy people from the Lu family, she was a high and mighty little princess in front of outsiders. That was why she couldn't accept it when everything came tumbling down. Dot but now that she had experienced so much bloodshed, this small matter was nothing to her. Since they wanted to play, she would play with them. She wanted to shave these blood dot sucking bugs off her body and meet her father in the most perfect state. Sun Xiao thought that Lu Zhen was sad. She wanted to comfort her but didn't know how to say it. She could only stay where she was in frustration. What did Sister Li say about this? Sister Li was her manager and had been with her since she was young. Even when Sister Li became a top manager and had other artists under her, she was still very good to her. Sister Li first asked about the exact situation at that time, then said to wait and see. The current situation is not disadvantageous to you, Jin Jin, so the company will not make a move for the time being. Also, I can secretly take a few photos and send them to Sister Li. The company's team will post them on the company's account. All right, then help me take a photo and get off work. You've worked hard these few days. She must have tortured Sun Xiao during the past few days after she fainted. She actually had dark circles under her eyes. Sun Xiao, who was clearing the table, was stunned and stopped what she was doing. Sister Jinjin, I'm not tired. I have to accompany you when you're hospitalized. 
Otherwise, what if something like before happens again? Lu Jin smiled and comforted her. No, I'm already awake. Previously, she was able to harm me because I was unprepared. Now that I know what she is like, I'll be wary, Sun Xiao thought for a moment and felt that she had to listen to Lu Jin. She hadn't rested well for a few days. Now that Sister Jinjin was awake, with her personality, she would continue to work in a few days. In order to deal with unexpected situations that could happen at any time, she had to maintain her energy. After making up her mind, Sun Xiao took a few photos of Lu Jin sleeping and left. She suddenly felt that the ward was a little quiet. Lu Jin picked up her phone and scrolled through the comments of the netizens. Just as Sister Li had said, most of the public opinion was on her side now. It was probably because she was too popular. Even under Entertainment News Everyday's posts, normal people's comments were mostly things like, I didn't expect her to be such a person. I'm no longer a fan. As for what Sun Xiao said, she could tell at a glance that they were fake reviewers paid to slander her. After being defamed for so long in her previous life, she had to learn something, right? Not long after, she scrolled to Xing Yi Company's Weibo account. Thank you for your concern, everyone. I want to share a picture of Jinjin sleeping. In the photo, a young girl was sleeping. In the darkness, the warm yellow light at the head of the bed illuminated her side profile. Her skin was smooth, and her long eyelashes cast a shadow under her eyes. It was unknown if she had a nightmare, but she frowned slightly, making one's heart ache and pity her. Some people in the comments section praised her for being so beautiful, while others said that they wanted to save it as a desktop background. However, most of them asked about what happened during the day. Lu Zhen zoomed in on the photo and couldn't help but marvel at how good Sun Zhao's photography skills were. Her frown was just a spur of dot the dot moment thing. However, she didn't know how Sun Xiao took this photo. While this photo highlighted her expression, it didn't look pretentious, especially the fatigue and fragility that the photo revealed. Her heart ached when she saw it. If there was a chance, she wanted to ask Sun Xiao for advice. At the mention of the photo, she suddenly thought of the photo she had taken of the man during the day. The last photo in the photo album was of that man. The corners of the man's lips curled up slightly, and the sunlight shone on him, as if he was covered in a veil. He looked handsome and dreamy. The more Lu Zhen looked at him, the more engrossed she became. The man's black eyes attracted her, as if he was looking at her through the screen. Perhaps she had been looking at him for too long, but she felt that this man's smile didn't reach his eyes.